In this example problem, we're going to find the plastic rotation of the given section using the um, procedure developed by Matic and Corley. Uh, so we're going to start with the given that um, we found from our section analysis um, that our yield curvature is 1.73 times 10 to the negative fourth. Our first step will be to find our plastic hinge length, uh, which is LP. We'll use the expression uh, developed by Matic and Corley, um, which is LP equal to 0.5D plus 0.5Z. So our Z value is the distance from our point of maximum moment to uh, our zero moment point. So in our case, we have maximum moment at the end equal to PL. We have zero moment at the uh, end of the beam, other end of the beam. So we have a Z equal to 10 feet. So we'll plug in our, our D and our Z. Um, so we'll have 0 0.5 times our D, which is 17.63 inches, plus 0 0.05 times 10 feet. And we need to make sure our units are consistent, so 12 inches per one foot to get our hinge, or our hinge length of 14.8 2 inches. Next we need to find our strain at uh, ultimate. Um, so in order to, to do this we'll, also, we'll use the, this expression um, by Maddock and Corley uh, for strain, our ultimate strain which has it equal to 0 0.003 plus uh, 0.02b which is just our base width 12 over z which we found above uh, plus rho double prime times fy over 20 all squared. Uh, so ne we need to find our rho double prime value first. So our, our rho double prime value is just the volume uh, of our stirrups plus the volume of our compression steel, all divided by uh, the total volume of the concrete section that we're considering. So in our case we have a number three stirrup running the whole outside um, of our section. Uh, so we'll say we have two legs at bottom and top. So that's why we have our two here. Number three stirrup uh, times the total distance. So 12 inches minus three is this first width. And then 20 inches minus three is the height of our stirrup. So that gives us the volume of our stirrup in one section. Then we have the volume of our compression steel. So we have three number six bars in compression. So three times 0.44 times our four uh, inch length. So this should just be four inches. Um, and that gives us the total volume of our uh, compression steel. And this is all within our, our total uh, concrete volume of 4 inches times um, 9 inches times 17. And this will give us our uh, row double prime equal to uh, 0 0.018. Uh, so we can plug in all of our values now and we'll have uh, 0 0.003 plus 0 0.02 times 12 inches uh, over 120 inches um, plus our uh, row double prime which is 0 0.018 times 60 ksi steel all divided by 20 and then this all squared and this will give us an epsilon c ultimate equal to 7 Point nine one times ten to the negative third. From before, from our cross-section analysis, we found that our C or the depth of our uh, neutral axis was uh, three point one five inches. Um, so we can use that then with our epsilon C ultimate to find our ultimate curvature, uh, which is just equal to. Um, 7.91 to 
times 10 to the negative third divided by C, 3.15 inches, which will give us a curvature of 2.51 times 10 to the negative third per inch. Um, so then we can use this ultimate curvature uh, to find our uh, plastic rotation. So our plastic rotation is just equal to our ultimate curvature minus our yield curvature times our plastic hinge length. Uh, so in our case we have a um, ultimate curvature of 2.51 times 10 to the negative third. We have a yield curvature from before of 1.73 times 10 to the negative fourth and our plastic hinge length we found to be 14.82 so then we can find that our rotation our plastic rotation will be 0 0.035 radians and this is our final answer